I started this, child, I just was like, well, let me just inject myself and I thought I was going to wake up the next day and look like Beyonce. Child, I sure did not. Welcome to Storytime with Cerise. Preview. And now, let's all welcome your host, Cerise Thomas. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. Come on in, come on in. Take a seat, get comfortable. I hope you guys are having a good week so far. Thank you guys so much for joining me again with another story time with Cerise. I am back extending my own story with my weight loss, with Ozempic, with Gobi, Terazipatide, whatever you want to call it. I am here to give a part two and a follow up. I'm going to keep checking in as my success with this weight loss and this new medicine continues to thrive. Thank you guys for being a part here at my channel. Make sure to subscribe because here on this channel, you will find so many stories, especially those of my own, that are mixed with messages and inspiration and motivation for your life and your journey and your story. And hopefully one day I get to hear yours too. So I hope you're inspired. Don't forget to subscribe and sit back, relax, because we are gonna dive in to it. I want to say thank you for all my new subscribers that are here. I am so excited to connect with you. All the wonderful comments that I've received. I try to literally get back to everyone on the recent video that I posted about my weight loss. I believe then I was 52 pounds down and now I am about 58 pounds down. So I am just going to continue to check in with you. I have a huge weight loss goal of 120 pounds um loss not to be 120 pounds but to lose 120 pounds so i am almost halfway there i have come a long way but i've got a ways to go this is what made it so difficult for me to even share my story because sometimes you feel like well i don't want to share my testimony until i feel like i've arrived but i realize that it's so important to share your journey with other people because it's a testimony that you're even on the journey that you decided to commit that you have a plan and you are following what god has called you to do so join me as I am still headed to the destination, okay? It gets rough sometimes, but y'all are here and I'm so excited to share just, you know, my transparent feelings along the way. I have never really publicly opened up about my weight and my struggle with weight. I just felt like, isn't it obvious? I'm walking around here struggling, breathing hard up the stairs. My heel is hurting. And this has been going on for over 15 years. I've only gotten bigger and bigger and bigger you know, subtly, but I really wanted to just express three main points today on story time. We drop a new story every week. And like I said, I like to share information alongside a motivational message. So you get the whole thing. You get the information and you get some inspiration at the same time. So I wanted to come back here and follow up and I will continue to do so as I continue my weight loss journey. And I just wanted to encourage you. Some of the comments that I've seen have been so encouraging, but it also kind of made me think about some things. And I wanted to really emphasize where I'm at and how I am successfully pursuing this journey towards weight loss. Now, I want to be very intentional when I say successful because we can achieve a lot of things in life, but they're not successful when you're not dealing with the whole person, right? Like you may reach a physical goal, but mentally and spiritually you are depleted. And to me, that is not success. You may reach a financial goal, a career goal, a family goal, a relationship goal, but if there is some area in your life that is not lining up, to me, I'm just like, something's off, right? Like if I finally get the husband and the, but spiritually I'm depleted because maybe I move too fast. Maybe I settled down with the wrong one. Okay. You're going to start feeling those things, you know, um, pop up. So when I say success, I am talking about my journey as a whole person, not just my physical weight loss, but the weight loss of stress, <laughs> The weight loss of negative perspectives of myself, the weight loss of the bad narrative, the depression, the anxiety, and everything that comes along with it. So please, even if you're not on a weight loss journey, don't tune out just yet because this message is for anyone that is on a journey looking to achieve a big goal. It's the journey that matters. If you can't lock down 
how to successfully be on a journey, your end goal doesn't even matter because it really won't be what you're looking for in the end. You can't cut corners. You can't jump through loopholes. At the end of the day, you really have to do the work in order to truly see success in your whole person, your mind, body, and spirit. Okay, so I want to get into this. Like I said, I'm not going to be before you long. I just really wanted to highlight my personal journey with weight loss. It's a big one. I want to lose 120 pounds. I'm already almost halfway there. And so I really want to share what I have learned because in the beginning of this journey, I was not being successful. I was losing weight and still feeling like I'm not doing something right. When I started this medicine, uh, Wagovi, Terazipatide, basically I'm on the compound version, which is the generic version, Terazipatide, but it's the same thing as Majaro, the same thing as Lagovi, the same thing as Ozempic. Um, so for those of you that are on that, you may understand semaglutide, whatever one that you're on, that's what I'm on. It's pretty much a similar thing doing the same thing. When I started this, child, I just was like, well, let me just inject myself and I thought I was going to wake up the next day and look like Beyonce. Child, I sure did not. <laughs> Okay. And, and I'm exaggerating, obviously, right? But after about two months of being on this medicine, and I want to be clear here, because what I want to do in this video is thank God for sending me this path to help me, but I cannot give all the credit to this medicine. And you shouldn't either if this is something you are thinking about doing or you are already doing this, right? All the credit does not go to this medicine. It is medicine. It is simply a support system. Now, before I even knew about this medicine, my journey was leading towards weight loss surgery, which I think is a wonderful option if that's the option for you as well. People do weight loss surgery. People do the medicine now. So whichever one there is, people, I mean, some people just are able to get it together without medicine, without surgery, and they've got the willpower. But you have to understand, one of the things that people are talking about now and I always shout out Countess of Shopping. Make sure you check out her YouTube page, Countess of Shopping. She really, uh, she gets into the details and the information, but the truth of the matter is people are realizing that some people actually have GLP-1 deficiencies, which simply means your mind is not telling yourself that you are full and you continue to eat and you do not know when to stop. Now me, I'm not going to hold you up there, I might have a little bit of that, but I think it's only because I've abused it over time. I tend to be more of an emotional eater. Um, uh, bore, I'm bored. Let's eat. Um, ooh, it's my day off. Let's eat. <laughs> like, child, I will find anything to eat. I am a huge foodie and I still am. It's just that now I'm learning how to have a healthier relationship with that love for food, removing it off the throne, right? So I just wanted to get into that. You know, I don't want to give all the credit to the medicine and I really want to emphasize three things. Number one, I've been asking the Lord to provide me with a way to weight loss for years. And like many other people that are on a weight loss journey, what are the one of the number one things we say? We done tried everything, right? I said that in my last video. We tried Weight Watchers, Her Watchers, His Watchers. We tried, um, I did um, Nutrisystem, Jenny Craig, Jonathan Craig. Like I did it all, <laughs> okay? I've done it all. I really tried to put my best foot forward each time, personal trainer in the gym. And a lot of times it was just, I don't know. Um, and this is what they talk about with people that have stronger GLP ones than other people. Some people are really able to stick to it and some people just fall off. And it could be because of the circumstances of life. It could be because of the way your GLP one is set up. There's so many factors to it, but finally God sent me in this direction and I'm so grateful for that. And this is what I want to say to anyone that's on a journey, no matter what journey you are on, when you ask God for help and he clearly paves the way, he may not show you the whole thing, but he at least paves the way for your next steps. Be confident, take that path and don't look back, okay? And I always think about two things. You guys ever heard that story where there's a man uh, in the middle of the ocean on a tiny little boat and his boat is sinking and he's like, Lord, please don't take me now. Please help me and please send me, send me some help. Lord, rescue me. And so then somebody drives by on another boat and they're like, hey, do you need some help? And he's like, no, don't worry. I prayed about it. The Lord's going to save me. And then another person comes by in an airplane. He's like, hey, do you need some help? And he's like, no, don't worry. The Lord is going to save me. And then another person comes by and is like, 
your boat is almost underwater. Do you, do you just want to? He's like, no, 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 no. I trust in the Lord high God. He is going to save me. And what winds up happening is he drowns and he wakes up in heaven like, child, how do I get to heaven? Lord, I ask you to save me. He said, I sent you three people to help you and you ignored all of them. And that's what I think about. Listen, everybody's path is different, but whatever God decides, hey, this is what I'm asking you to do. This is what I presented to you. Don't just keep asking God, oh, just please. The Lord is not going to come down and shrink your waist. He's not going to lower your 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 diabetes or your hypertension, okay? He's not gonna just do that. He's going to send you support for whatever your goals are, whether it's financial, whether it's in a new business endeavor, whether it's your career, whether it's your desire for a wife or a husband, whether it's your desire to conceive, you need to find out, Lord, what's the plan? If you are reading the Bible, if you're in your word, God always has a plan and his plan is the only way. Many times his plan is not always the most favorable in our eyes until we start walking in it and we say, oh, I see why you had me go this way because you know me better than I know myself and you knew that this was going to be the thing to get me to true success. And what do I mean about true success? That means I'm not just successful in my body. I'm successful in my mind. I'm successful in my spirit. All of those things matter. God cares about all of you. He does not just want you to get to a level of financial freedom, or he does not just want you to be successful in that business without having you also grow spiritually and also grow mentally. I've learned from my pastor that we always talk about uh, your character, your talents and abilities can take you to a certain place. But your character is the only thing that's going to sustain you. So God is not going to elevate you in a section of your life without elevating the rest of you. You know what I'm saying? So I always think about that. Like God sends help, take it. And don't worry about what other people are saying. See, he'll put the people in your life that are supporting you, but not everyone's going to be on board. Everyone's got something. Oh, you want that. You need to be careful. You. If, the, if I'm telling you that the Lord has sent me this way, just pray for me. Even if you're not in agreement with the choice that I'm making, as long as I'm not causing harm to myself and those around me, pray for me. Because I, some people just, they get uncomfortable because you finally mustered up the courage to submit to a plan and they're still out there walking in the dark. So there's a lot of different things that happen when you finally decide to walk a path that God has called you. There are people around that are just like, I can't take it. Well, you know, her success is making me uncomfortable. And the only thing that's making you uncomfortable is that you haven't decided. The Lord is sending you the same help that he sent me. It's just that you haven't decided to be, to, to use your faith and grab onto that help, right? Another thing I think about is um, the story of Lot's wife. When the village was burning down and Lot and his wife and his family were walking away and God said, don't look back. Do not look back. And she looked back and she turned into a pillar of salt. She froze. And I think about that with, uh, with us. Once God sets you on a journey, it's so important, the people that are in your ear and where you're going, because when you look back, that's how you paralyze yourself from getting from one place to another. Because you start looking back, you start looking at your old habits, you start looking at your old mindset, you start looking at your old way of life. And it, of course, it's going to entice you. It's a familiar place. You're comfortable there. But when you look back, you paralyze yourself and you disqualify yourself from being able to truly move forward. So that's point number one. God God is going to send you help. And when he does, trust it. Your path may look very different. It may make other people uncomfortable. But if you know that you know that you know that God is sending you that way, take those steps and don't look back. Sometimes we paralyze ourselves, not just by looking back, but we stop, we freeze because we're listening to the other voices. We're listening to people, especially on a weight loss journey. Do you realize people feel like they have the right to say things about your body? There's body shaming. There's people that are judging you. There's people that are speaking about your choice and they're speaking. So, and if you get caught up in that, you will freeze just like Lot's wife. So you want to make sure that you are focused on the end goal and cloud out those voices, including your own. When you get focused in on God's path, you need to memorize some verses or whatever it takes you to constantly keep your thoughts on him and keep your focus 
forward, okay? So number two, as you are moving forward in a new lifestyle, yes, once again, I am grateful that God sent me this specific help, which was the medicine, but also he looked at me after two months and he was just like, oh, you ain't gonna get nowhere. Again, I'm not just here to help you with your physical. I'm here to help you with a new relationship with food. And I'm also here, here to remind you to lean on me, to get closer to me, to grow spiritually. And so as you move forward, and even with this medicine, this new these new GLP-1 medicines, yes, we are grateful for them. We are grateful for how they're supporting people, but you have to do the work. <laughs> you have to do the work. One thing I realized two months after taking this medicine, I was losing like one pound a month. <laughs> I was like, child, you know, wait a minute. I said, I have to change my habits. I came to terms with it. I said, I'm reading too many success stories of people on this medicine. And why am I not successful? Because I'm not doing the work. They said that you should at least move thir three times a week for 30, time 30 minutes get exercising, and you have to have a healthy relationship with food. And that took me some time. And that's when I joined a program, Kicking Weight with Keisha. I joined her program and every week was a new challenge. And that's what set off my weight loss. So like I said, grateful for the medicine, giving it all the credit, absolutely not. You have to, I just got back from the gym and I was so, I did not get good sleep last night. My daughter woke up at five o'clock in the morning. She also woke up at three o'clock in the morning, but I said, I've got to do the gym. And I I couldn't even imagine. I look back at myself like for three months ago, I would have never, never gone to the gym, <laughs> especially being tired. Oh, forget it. Now, trust me, I'm not up in there lifting 500 pound weights and running four hours of cardio. Mm -mm. I either take a 45 minute class or I'm on the treadmill for 45 minutes and do some cute lifting. Look, look, he never said I had to be a gym guru, okay? Because that's not my calling. <laughs> but I am feeling great in my body. I'm feeling stronger. And with the new challenges um, with the food, when she gives like food challenges, different, a lot of fasting, a lot of uh, food challenges, like the, like veggie challenges, detox challenges, liquid fast challenges. With that is when I saw the most. Now don't get scared because you might be watching this and being like, oh, forget it then. I'm not going to take the medicine because I can't do that. I had to work my way up there. <laughs> uh, one day, any journey that you are taking, you need to give it one day at a time and sometimes one hour at a time. Do not push yourself beyond the limits. That's me. I will be like, okay, it's time for me to get in shape. Five days a week, I'll be in the gym. The next week, you won't see me in the gym because I pushed myself too hard. And I'm like, I can't do what I did last week. So I took baby steps. I started walking for 15 minutes, maybe one day a week. <laughs> okay. Now I'm, now I'm working out four days a week. And I can't even believe I'm saying that. I work out a minimum of four days a week. And I have a challenge. I have a whole food chart. So I know exactly what I'm eating every week. You have to put the work in, ladies and gentlemen. Even with weight loss surgery, I know many people that have gone to weight loss surgery. I spoke to my therapist about weight loss surgery. And she said, hey, girl, don't do it if you're not willing to put in the work. Do you know how many people have gained the weight back from getting off of GLP-1 medicines and two years later after weight loss surgery, they just gain all the weight packed back. People are getting multiple surgeries, which is not healthy because they're just not changing their mind. They're not putting their mind on the journey. They're putting their physical body on the journey and leaving their mind and spirit behind us. Here, I want to encourage you here on this channel, we talk about the whole person because it's so important to true happiness and true success that you are elevating not just your body, not just your mind, not just your finances, not just your love life, but your spirit and your mental health. Guys, this is why we're failing these days because we are attaining and running after things and we're forgetting about our own mental health. I just did a video about, uh, check out the one called a safe space. We Before we can be a safe space for other people, we have to be a safe space for ourselves. And in order to do that, we have to be at a place where our mind, body, and soul are, are literally elevating at the same time. Okay? Now, one may need a little bit other and has to catch up, but the more they grow, the more that they catch up to each other and you find yourself in true happiness. That's true peace. That's a clear head. That's true success. So that was my point number two. Sure, whatever path you take to reaching your goal, 
Just understand you have to have a mindset shift. And in order to do that, you need someone Okay, you need to subscribe to my channel so that you can get constant motivation and inspiration and tips on your life. But also you need to make sure you find a therapist or find a financial advisor, find a counselor, whatever it is, whatever goal you're trying to attain in life, get someone that's above you so they can pull you up. Thinking that you can do it on your own is your worst enemy. So many of us are not asking for help and we're not vulnerable enough. We're not transparent enough. We're not being humble enough to say, I just cannot. God is a heart changer. He's a mind. Once he changed your heart, he can change your mind. So trust him and he will show you. He will highlight and direct you and send people in your life to pull you higher. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? Take some notes because you are on the road to true success and I am right here with you. My last point about this entire GLP-1, Ozempic, weight loss, this and that is in life, it's so easy to receive things, but it's so much harder to keep them. Okay, I've learned it's easy to obtain, but it's hard to maintain. So just because you may, God will send you some help, you have to do the work to keep it there. So I know that once I reach my goal and I stop taking these GLP-1s because I am believing that I don't necessarily have a GLP-1 deficiency like some people do that may need to take the medicine for the rest of their lives. I just think I abused it and stopped listening. I believe that I can be very successful off of this medicine if I do the work. <laughs> I've lost weight before without medicine. I've lost like 65 pounds before without no medicine, but I did it on my own strength. And when you do things on your own strength and you're not relying on God to give you what you need to get to the next step, you will find yourself not only back in the same spot, but probably worse. And that's, where, that's what happened to me. That's my story, but it didn't end there. God has more chapters for you. So even if you're feeling discouraged today about a journey where you feel like, man, I, I got so far and now I just fell. Do not be discouraged. That was just a chapter. God is still writing your story. You just need to get back up and approach it differently. Put him back on the throne. Follow the path that he has set out for you, even if it's not the popular one, even if it's the one where people will be talking, people will be judging you. Just trust him. Do you know how many people were like, Peter, are you going to step out on that boat? Are you sure? Do you know what water does when you step on it without a floaty? You will sink. People will really try to stop you because again, it makes them uncomfortable because if you step out on water and they don't and you succeed, it lets them know that they are not on the right path, that they need to push their faith. You know what I'm saying? So it's all right. Let's be in the business of making others unco uncomfortable for their benefit so that they see you and they're just like, okay, I just can't stay here. I cannot just stay here and complain. I cannot just sit here in depression. I cannot just compare myself to everyone. What about me? What about me? Yeah, God is saying, what about you? I got you. I have a plan. Are you ready? Are you ready to try it again? This must be my 7,999th attempt at weight loss. And it's the first time I'm feeling successful. And it's because I put God on the throne and I followed him and I decided that I had to do the work. He lent out his hand. He gave me his support. He showed me the path, but he said, don't let that be the end all be all. You need to step up your game mentally and spiritually. And I'm telling you, don't give up. You still have an opportunity to get it right and, and make it there. Whether it's weight loss, whether it's financial, like I said, this applies to any big journey that you're on. Every goal in life that you want to achieve, you want to make sure you submit it to God's will. And you want to make sure that you are doing the work while you are taking those next steps. Don't just get a handout. God is not going to give you a handout because he wants you to grow and he wants you to grow as you're on the journey because when you get to the destination, he wants you to be stronger and wiser so that you can maintain what you've achieved. Because listen, if you think you're going to get somewhere and you can just sit back and put your feet up once you're there, uh-uh-uh, mm-mm-mm, you've been mistaken, all right? So here on my channel is Storytime with Cerise. We are here to get real. 
We are here to get transparent. We are here to get honest, okay? And we are here to push each other. So thank you guys for tuning in. Again, please don't forget to subscribe. I wanna connect with you. I wanna connect with you in the comments. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what is your journey? What are you struggling with? And what are you willing to try again, but better this time? This time, making sure you seek God's plan and take his help, don't look back. And this time, making sure you actually pursue a mindset shift and a lifestyle change, and also remembering that you have to do the work, okay? So I hope you guys were blessed by this. Look, Jesus is on the main line, y'all. Let him take the wheel, but you can't fall asleep. When he was talking to his disciples, he's like, hey, I'm gonna go over here and talk to God. You know, stay over here, be praying watchful and alert be praying and watching at the same time be building and praying at the same time and he came back and the disciples were asleep and he was like no 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 no! i didn't say that i was just gonna go and do this for you wake up <laughs> stay awake Okay, God is saying, we're in this together. We are partnering in this. And I'm giving you the strength you need and the wisdom you need to figure this thing out so that you can truly be successful. That is true happiness. People are looking for happiness in so many ways and not realizing that it starts right here within. All right, so be encouraged. I've been so excited on my journey. Like I said, I've been taking the compound version since ZepBound and all of that stuff is not in stock. And if you're interested, please check out Join Fridays. That is the program that I uh, go through to get my compound medication. And it isn't a vial. You do have to inject yourself. I know some people are very, very nervous about that. But the more you do it, the easier it gets. I said I compare it to like an acupuncture. The needle is so tiny. So you'll feel a pinch. But it's not like if I was to pinch you in real life. You know what I'm saying? So you do that. You start your doses off and it's just been a wonderful journey. It's been a journey of me allowing this medicine to help me and also making sure that I'm not looking back, that I'm shifting my mindset and that I'm doing the work. So be encouraged, okay? Never put your full faith and trust in the thing that God has given you. Keep it in him. See, we can get, we can get very quickly um, twisted in that where it's like the fit, the help that he sent you, you start to praise it and you put it on the throne. He's like, no, 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 I sent you that help, but I, I am the source. <laughs> Keep your eyes on me because I may shift. He may tell me in two weeks, stop the medicine. This is what I want you to do. You gotta be in tune with him because only he knows how to get you to true success in your life, all right? Well, I can't wait to hear the testimonies, the praise reports, the journeys. Let me know you're struggling. I respond to every comment on my channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I just look forward to building community here with you guys and checking in with you soon. Thanks guys so much and have a wonderful rest of the week. See you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>